this is Dr. Kay Sweetser from San Diego State University and today I'm going to show you some very simple procedures of descriptive statistics in SPSS. And so here I'm actually going to focus on how to do a frequency or a head count in SPSS and um, also to do a mean and standard deviation as well. So what you'll have to do is open up an SPSS file that actually has data in it. And so this is a survey file of uh, 500 plus people. And as you can see, it has plenty of data in it. Remember that in SPSS, each line across on the row is going to be a case, or in this case, a respondent, and then each column going down is going to represent a specific variable that the respondent answered um, on the actual survey. So for example, in this particular survey, we have asked people things like, um, are you Caucasian? Yes or no. Are you black? Yes or no. Are you Latinx or Hispanic? Yes or no. And so we have a number of different um, race slash ethnicity variables in here. And those were all check the box if you identify as any of these different races. So let's go ahead and look at how many people in our data set identified as either um, this variable, race one, which is Caucasian, this variable, race two, which is black, and this variable, um, race six, which is Latinx or Hispanic. So to run uh, this, this procedure, the first thing you really want to look at is, do I have the variable view set up correctly on the other end? So I'm in data view and I can see that I have you know, data throughout these columns. Let me just go ahead and go to the back to see race one, race two, race six, Caucasian, black, Hispanic. When I click on this, if somebody has a one, that means that they checked the box that they're Caucasian. For the next one, if there's a one there, that means that somebody checked the box to say that they are black. And on this next one, we have if people said that they were Latinx or Hispanic. So this is the way that this particular variable was set up. And there are lots of different ways that this could be set up. This is how it was set up in this particular data set. I'll show you another variable, which is gender. Gender has all of the different categories in one variable. And so people could say that they were either male or they were female or they were transgender or they were non-binary or they might prefer not to say. Now the reason that we set up our variables in this way where gender is a single variable where someone will select a single choice and that race is a number of different variables and of course we're just going to focus on race one two and six that race was a num number of different variables that are separated is because in our study we wanted to be able to let people choose as many races as possible that they identified with and then based on the literature when it came to gender we had a pretty inclusive list though not perfect here and so that's why that we had set this up a little bit differently. So let me show you how to do it. You're going to go analyze, descriptive statistics, frequencies. I already have something in here. I'm gonna push it back and get rid of it. I'm gonna find race one and I'm gonna push it over and then I'm gonna press okay. When I press okay, a new file is gonna pop up on top of my screen. And this is the output file. And here I can see that there were 338 people who said they were Caucasian. And that turns out to be 58% of my sample. Now I, I have, you know, all of these people who didn't check it and that's okay. 
Let's do another one. I can show you how we can do several at one time. So I'll get rid of race one. I'll come in here. I'll do race two and race six. I, I can put in several at one time. Press OK. And now I have these numbers where I see 74 people indicated that they were black and that was 12.8% of my overall um, survey respondents. I had 87 people indicate that they were Latinx. That's 15% of my respondents. Let's go ahead and do gender because that's a different type of a variable setup. So again, analyze descriptive statistics, frequencies. I'm going to get rid of the ones I've already run. I find gender right here and I press OK. And now I can see that everything's in one box because I asked it as one single question, not do you identify as male, yes or no? Do you identify as female, yes or no? Do you identify as non-binary, yes or no, etc.? I consolidated everything into one question here. And so that's why this is all in one different or one um, consolidated table. So this is going to match these. However, you notice transgender is missing on the output and that's because nobody indicated that they were transgender in this data set and so SPSS didn't didn't um, push anything out for that the next thing I want to do is to show you how to run a mean or a standard deviation let's go ahead and look at this easy one which is going to be age before you run a mean or standard deviation you need to look over in the variable view side and you must ensure that the type for the variable is numeric. Now, if I were to just change it, like let's say, I, you know, this other one over here that happens to be string underneath it. If I were to just change it right here and I go, oh, now it's numeric, it's going to delete out everything that's in there that is a word. So be very careful before you change things, but make sure that you have it in as numeric. So this is numeric. I'm pretty good to go. So I'm going to go analyze and then I'm going to do descriptive statistics and then frequencies. It does not make sense to do a mean on gender. It does make sense to do it on age. I find age. I'm going to turn off display frequency tables. I'm going to go into statistics and I'm going to look for standard deviation and I'm going to look for mean. I press continue. I press OK. And now I have the mean age, the average age is 27.54 and then the standard deviations between uh, each of the, the quartiles is 10.29. So I have a pretty old demographic here. If you were to th think about this in comparison to, you know, a college group of surveys, these people are obviously mostly out of college and the standard deviation is a pretty big one. If this were a student population in here, I'm sure the mean would be closer to 20 years old and the standard deviation would be very, very tight. It would probably be, you know, 0.5 or something like that. So that's how you run a mean. Happy researching.